Hello, ladies and gents. We welcome you today at a snowy Foxborough, 26 degrees, as it is the Cincinnati Bengals versus your own New England Patriots. It is going to be a sloppy game, and it is intercepted by Jonathan Joseph to start the game off, and it is fumbled. But the Bengals get on top of it, so it will be Bengal ball on the Patriots 37. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dr. Dre, and... I have a series over on my own channel where I basically made a personal vendetta that I was going to play Madden. And not just play Madden, but every single game I played, I would win as a new team for the first time. So, I'm on my quest to all the teams. Uh, I've played as a lot of teams. I've played as maybe, not, not a lot, I guess. I've played about as a fourth of the teams in the NFL. Let's see. My resume goes as follows. Um... Lions, Chargers, Bears, Texans, Rams, 49ers, um, and this game, the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, I think I might have done one more about them. Uh, go check a lot of those out on my channel. So, basically, I am playing as the Cincinnati Bengals against the New England Patriots. Now, I bet you're wondering, how did I pick this team? Well, I picked a team that is somewhat close in overall to the Patriots. Patriots, I believe, are an 89. Bengals are an 84. Not, not the best matchup for me, but I do find that I do like the Bengals, and I was also asked to play as them, so I thought, perfect timing. Why not play as the Bengals? So, it is snowy. It is extremely snowy. There is really bad wind, and ah, throw a pick to Brandon Merriweather. A very bad, bad pass. In the snow, the ball does not go anywhere near where you want it to go. And I really hate that this kid for doing that. And, ooh, Odom with the sack from behind. I had no idea that quarterbacks had blind spots in a video game when you can see the guy coming from behind you. Apparently they do, because I just hit him from behind and hit him a couple of times from that direction. Still, so, I play Madden a lot just to uh, basically run through how a team works. Um, I generally run through minimal on the opposing team and much more on the team that I'm playing as, as Leon Hall gets an interception for my second of the game. Okay, so let's run over the Bengals, shall we? The Bengals are a somewhat strong team. They've had some bad luck in the real NFL in recent weeks, but I really don't know what they can do about that because they've been playing pretty well. The only thing I can think of is that Chad Ochocinco needs to get more touches like he has in this game because Terrell Owens has... What the hell? I have no idea how he intercepted that pass, but all I can say is, wow, that was some good luck. Okay. So, it's 7-3 right now, um, off of Cedric Benson, touchdown, uh, about a five-yard run, and a Steven Gostkowski field goal. So, if you didn't notice, I am not speeding up this game. I have an HD PVR, and I have ITV. Ooh, that was my knee that just cracked. So, basically, I know I say that way too much, I'm sorry, it's just the first thing that comes to mind, that... Oh, fumble, fumble, and the Bengals recover with 10 seconds left in the second quarter and getting the ball at the half. What could be better, right? Right? <laughs> so, I have an HD PVR, and anytime there's a good moment in the game, I click record and scroll back on my video recorder and click uh, record from there forward. By doing that, it records anything from the point I started with forward. So, for instance... This play, He's going to pass. I clicked record um, after the play was done because I have ITV. I'm allowed to do and that as that I throw here. a pass the down the middle. If they tackled him a little sooner, I would have got might have gotten a chance for a field goal. But there's nothing real, you can really do about that. I was lucky enough to get the fumble. Cincinnati will get it first so here in the I wanted to half. talk about YouTube popularity. For uh, my prime example would be Project Envy as he nails a very nice field goal and not to power win. Now, Project Envy. I've watched Project Envy for, since it came out. Um, I know a bunch of guys who ran it, and I supported it all the way after I found out what happened with LGU. Right? So, basically, I see that Project Envy has about, roughly about 5,700 subscribers, give or take about 50 or so. So, 
they have a lot of big names in the people who started it. Pwn Star for Hire, It's Gumby, JLG Reality. Um, and the thing that I find is that I have not seen, unless, correct me if I'm wrong, I have not seen one sports video game on Project Envy. I want to change that. If there is, then you can pretty much just forget about this whole thing I'm, I'm going to talk about for a second. Now, the importance of having sports video games is diversity. When you have sports video games, you bring in a whole different demographic than the Modern Warfare 2, the role-playing games, the first-person shooters, those kind of things. Guys who are probably around 15, 14 to about 25 like that. He's going to throw it. People who like sports video games are there are a lot more there are a lot older gamers who like sports video games because Madden's been out for so long. I mean, its 20th anniversary was in 2008. As I fail on Fred Taylor, that was just awful. So, I've I've looked at some of the ratings on my videos. I've looked at the demographics. I, it could be false because people do tend to sometimes put false ages, but. The demographics I get on those videos are much different. A lot of my videos are watched by people of the older generation than the ones who are newer. I mean, I do have some that are newer, but I have more towards the 25 to 49 mark, which is remarkable. So, just as advice for a YouTube channel, make videos frequently, um, because of I don't have the most subscribers, but I do get asked that a lot. How do you get popular on YouTube? Make videos that people like. Be yourself. Um, think, think of things to talk about. And appeal to the audiences. All audiences. That way, you don't have people saying, Oh, it's a, role, it's a Modern Warfare 2 video. Oh, I don't like that game anymore. Boo-hoo. Click. Away. Oh my god, it's Halo Reach. Who plays that game? Click away. Oh my god, it's Madden. I've never seen a Madden video. I wonder what it'll be like. Click. I mean, you have to think outside the box. You have to try things that people don't do before. Like I saw Sly Fox, a commentator on Project Enemy and A-list director, put a Pokemon Stadium, whether he uses an emulator or he's actually using his Nintendo 64, which, if he does, I'm going to have to ask him how he got HD cables to work with that thing. I have one, and I want to use it. <laughs> oh, fail at the interception. I'm, I'm just playing with you guys um, about the Nintendo 64. I mean, if if it does work, sure, I'll try it. Uh, guys, the video is basically over as I stopped Wes Welker on a 4th and 7 after he picked the wrong play and tried punting it. And with no timeouts, I got him to get a uh, delay of game penalty. All's fair and loving football. Guys, the final score is 20-17. to 17. I'm Dr. Dre. Go check out my channel. I've got Madden gameplay up every week. i got Modern Warfare 2 on demand. Just tell me what you guys think. Tell me what team to be next week. Like and comment below on what team. Adios. Peace.